Good morning. How important are the words that we say? How important is it that we guard what we say or that we consider the things we talk about, how we talk? I'm reading Matthew uh, this morning and got over to chapter 12 and just some really, really kind of frightening words, um, startling words. You know, Jesus has been healing and he gets to, uh, on the Sabbath, they bring a man who is who is uh, possessed and he's blind and he can't speak and and um, actually on the Sabbath the day before I guess um, he'd healed a man and they were they were squawking because he healed him on the Sabbath and then he heals this one that is that is possessed who can't who can't speak and he can't he can't see and Jesus heals him. And suddenly he, he casts the devils out and he can speak and see. And Pharisees get word and, and they say, well, he's casting out devils by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus tells them, he says, you know, that, that's an amazing thing. How can the devil cast himself out? A house that's divided against the stove can't stand. And, and, he, and he talks about that. And he, and he talks about either make the tree good or the tree evil, but it can't be both ways. And when he gets finally to, to verse 34 there, chapter 12, he says, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure from of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasures bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. There's two things in here that are really profound to me. The first one is that he said, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So it doesn't take long to listen to somebody speak before you start figuring out a lot of who they are on the inside. The things that they say, how they say, why they say. Everybody can put on a show for a little while. Everybody can put on a face. Everybody can sound spiritual, sound holy, sound whatever for a little while. But if you hang around them long enough and you and you visit with them long enough, eventually who and what they are is going to come out because we speak from, from the heart. The heart, we, we reveal ourselves. We reveal what our heart is and how our heart is by the things that we say. And so he tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So a good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, he speaks good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, brings evil things. But the last thing that he says here in this, in this passage is, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, by thy words thou shalt be condemned. In other words, he says, every idle word will be judged. So we, we are going to be judged by the things that we say. We are going to give an account for every idle word when we stand before Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but there have been some times in my life I've had some pretty idle words that I'm really not looking forward to having come back up. Um, you know, there's, there's some pretty profound things that, um, or lack of profundity, I guess, is more appropriate, that I have said in my life that I really regret. And I hate the fact that, that these are all going to come back up and this is going to be part of how I'm judged is by the things that I've said. Whether they have been honoring or fruitful or, or just snide, whatever. And I think sometimes we, are, we get a little too calloused about thinking about the things that we say, the words that we say. I'm not saying you can't ever tease, you can't ever play. The Bible doesn't say that. But it does say we're going to give an account of every idle word. And so we have, to, we have to be thinking about the things that we say. We have to think about what we do in this life. You know, life is cerebral. Too many people think that all we got to do is just survive. We just got to get through it. We just, if we'll just trust Jesus, everything else is going to work out, and, and we just got to hang on. Well, yes, if we trust Christ, everything is going to work out in the end in that we will be in heaven with him. But there's a lot more than just salvation that comes into this thing of living for Christ. There is our ministry and the words that we say. Those, all those things are important. The actions that we take are the things that he's going to judge us for our reward. And I think it's important that we understand that we will give an account 
of even the idle things that we say. And I think we, we get too so caught up into this just surviving that we forget that this life is cerebral. We must think through this life. We can be like a pinball in whichever flipper smacked us on the backside last. That's the direction we're heading. Or we can actually think about this life and, and seek God's face and ponder what he wants and move out in thought. We are to think. God gave us a brain. He expects us to use it. He expects us to use all of the faculties that he has given us and to use those for his glory and his honor. And so let me encourage us today, let's think about this life and let's think about the things that we say, because we are going to give an account for every idle word. So the things that we say are going to come back. We might not think so. We might not think because we'll say something and we don't really get a, a response or we don't get something here right now. But I promise us, we are going to give an account for these words. It's coming back up again. So what we say, what we speak does matter. How we speak does matter. And so we need to pay attention to our words. We need to think about the things that we say. And remember that Christ said, by your words, you'll be justified. By your words, you'll be condemned. Because every idle word will be given an account in the day of judgment. And we are going to stand before Christ, even as the saved, not for the penalty of sin, but for how we conducted our life once we became part of the family of God. So think about the things that we say today. Think about those words. Maybe there's some conversations we would be wiser just not to have. So have a good day. Take some time in prayer. Read your Bible and think about the things that you say. Think about the things that you do. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow morning.